In the last video, we uh, learned about how to check if a number is an emit number. So uh, in the last video, we made use of a few functions and the most uh, uh, useful function of them that we were calling from the main method was the check emit function. The check emit function takes in a number and it returns a boolean value. And the boolean value is true, the number is an emit number and false otherwise. So in this video, we are going to write the code or rather modify the previous code so that we can we are able to generate emit numbers within a certain range. So instead of taking a single number as input from the user, we are going to take an range from the user. So let's see if the user wants emit numbers between one uh, to hundred, then one uh, is termed as the lower bound, and that we refer to as L. And 100 is referred to as the upper one, which we refer to as u. So these two quantities we take from the user as input. Then what do we do? And then we run a loop which would conveniently run from LV to u. And for each value of i, which is the number inside of the range, we will check if i is an emit number or not. Now, if i is an emit number, then we are going to display the emit number, form a separate. This is our basic algorithm. Right? Okay. So, uh, let's see how we can uh, code this out. So, this is the code that we wrote in the last video. So, what I'm going to do is to save time, I'm going to copy this entire code, create a new class having a gibberish name. Open this up, it's the previous code. I'm going to change a few things. The first thing that I'm going to change is the name of the class. Instead of emit, I'm going to change it to let's say emit generate. And the same change we need to do main method. Now, remember the changes uh, that we discussed here. Instead of taking a single number as input, what we're going to do is we're going to take two numbers, the first being the lower bound and the second being the upper bound. Okay, so uh, let's open this. <coughs> so instead of it being the number, uh, this is there. Upper bound. This is going to now, we need to generate numbers from LB to U. Therefore, we are going to use a for loop. Int i less than or equal to B i plus plus. So inside of this for loop, every number within the range will be present inside i. So instead of checking num, we are now going to check whether i is an error number. I'm going to copy or cut this old version of the code, paste it inside of the for loop. So instead of num, we're going to check i, and if it is an i, we're going to display it form a separate. So yes. now, if the number is not an i number, we're simply going to ignore that number and not display. Hence, we're going to get rid of this else. So I hope you have understood uh, the generation process. The generation process is quite same. It was same for Armstrong and it is same for emit number as well. Let's compile this code. Let's compile some back errors. Let's run this. Let's say I need uh, the emit number between one and hundred. Let's input one. So the emit numbers between one and hundreds are two, three, five, seven. Obviously, because the reverse of this number is the number is the number, the number itself, 11, 13, 17, 1, 2, 7. But, but uh, it's better if we add a few messages that the emit numbers between 1 and 100 are. So I'm going to add those uh, things as well. So system 
Given you a little bit of space. Let's search for any number that has two hundred. So here are the results: hundred one, hundred seven, hundred eighteen, hundred one, nine eighty one. It's a bright number. So, hope we see you in the next video. Bye now.